because he's sitting on so such a low health pool. Doesn't have the biggest strength gain in the world. Uh, it's a strength gain. Say that anyway. I don't, oh god, I was looking at Sanctuary, but first put down in the bottom lane here, they finish up the Witch Doctor and keep it alive also. Especially on a squishy target like a Witch Doctor. She since he went Maledict first, it's very aggressive, it doesn't help you at all. Uh, in situations like this where a cast could have been enough to just make sure that Ogre Magi can't body block him anymore, but yeah, it's, as it stands. I can't really deny himself to this creep camp, made it to the medium camp. And up top, Beastmaster doing the same thing, just getting the safe trip. It's very limited things that the Witch Doctor and the Caller can do until they get some extra levels. Level 1 Illuminate, not too crazy. Another stun on the Witch Doctor, plus a spin coming through. Follow up stun from Centaur here, with another great creep to get. There's third death down here, and all of that is just not actually affecting the Argus Sun's ass all that much. So I'm even doing a good job keeping up in that regard. Still, ILTW being a part of these kills means that he's still going to be ahead compared to her. And Juggernaut is a hero that can do much, much more with this amount of farm much earlier. Uh, okay. Chance was a little bit too deep here. Bad Rider turns around to get that kill. Beauty Mini slows, but it looks good. And, okay. Gotta keep. This is. It only happens when a soul cast, like, kills all over the map. Too many things to focus on. But yeah, Pikachu with an Invasion, that stun will be cancelled. Ready to see it coming, so able to walk out. Even the bottom lane, ILTW, yeah, he's at it again, see? And if you can keep tabs on Dr. Jacob, one more crit to finish it off. Nicely done. Try to go for a nice little tree play, but maybe to redo it. Meanwhile, okay, another kill. Maledict. And this, the Weaver there to secure another kill. And there it is. Bucks nibbling away, the cask, plus uh, the Maledict, and that's another easy one. But funny, guys, be careful, took a lot of damage from the creeps, and still has a Halber Smasher following him down here. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. But yeah, he also got nibbled away at the creeps, so no armor to play with. Meanwhile, down in bottom lane, at the same time, just Isle to W and Chew doing their thing. Don't think he's running away from this though. But yeah. Pause in a very inopportune moment there for sure. But yeah, Pikachu's dead for sure. Actually, Juggernaut. So trying to run away here with the spin. And that's the song. Not just keeping Old Magi asleep. Well, there's the TP now. Still gets it off. Old Magi, not so lucky here. Rooted up. Couple of right clicks. Gonna take them a while because it's an Old Magi, but. Eventually, this one will fall as well. <laughs> Spying a lot of time, actually. There it is. Give it to Mune. Desperately needs it. Mino Chandra has very low stat gain, so buffing up these uh, these health points ultimately gonna equate to better survivability. Oh, Dorije. Dodge. Yeah, should be dead. Couple of right clicks, even a DD rune Pikachu can actually right click here thanks to the blinding light. And now, well, a little bit of health coming. The bugs come through, crystallize, might have to time lapse. There it is now. Pikachu still with a bug, but they don't actually focus him. Lasso on the Beastmaster, he might take a civilian in, especially with Deathwalk being committed. But Misha still admits there, trying to finish off Phonic, and he will be able to just stand there, continuing the Deathwalk, which isn't really hitting anybody. Not crystallized, no more time-ups available. Well, Misha still... Oh god, look at this damage. Where did that come from? A couple of right clicks here from Creative Ox, able to finish that one off. Now LTW just f <laughs> returned the favor with an Omni Slash. Ultimately, ultimately there was still a 2 for 3 trade here in the 2 to take. And they were also hoping to catch someone off guard with the smoke rotation here. Yeah, LTW without an Omni Slash, but still the spin does a ridiculous amount of damage at this point if you catch somebody. Something that you can rely on. Misha, meanwhile, up top is okay. Beast wants to get struck down with crystallized. It'll f make sure that they figure out hey, immune. Pretty much all alone. He has to pop the song to try and get out with a TP. And there's a big cooldown. They find him again in the, <laughs> this kind of a compromised position, and he's pretty much. 
LCW thinks that this is a battle fuel game. game. Can't really blame them too much. I mean, just uh, try and keep up in terms of farm. But hey, you look at this. Blink in. They find the Ogre Magi, but that's a raw. And also pushes finding away. So Death Watch also cancelled. Omni Slash is not. Still never won, but enough to make sure that the burst damage finishes off at the bad order quickly. Let's also look at what Misha is doing. It's actually dead right now with Phonics Slow Jamming and Death Ward. So, there'll be an actual kill, not just the Aegis. If they manage to finish off Immune, they will not be able to... Actually, they sh Yeah, okay. I don't really think that tier 2 up top matters all that much. In comparison to just go high gun and uh, finish off a set of racks first. I'm Link Lasso here on Chew. The tanky ogre, but not tanky enough. Like, this just an immune up top. He's obviously got a song at the side back already. I'd be looking back for the straight up Octarine now after the Radiant. Let's just make, put that into a 45 thing cooldown once you hit level 3 ulti. Alright, that's an Omni Slash and multi cast for a quick battle or a kill. Take what you can and then go for the last remaining T2. They're gonna have a creep wave coming. Still no axe on Cardal, obviously. He's not gonna get one anytime soon with a lag sign soaking up all the available farm on the map. So I cannot uh, keep this Illuminate spam up indefinitely. At least not from his position as safe as this. I still don't see the animation, this is so weird. Games not, will, would not be over by any means, but it would get harder and harder. And don't get me wrong, Omatch is a pretty good late game, just with the uh, extra Bloodlust buff up on the Juggernaut that will be able to I kind of offset some of that as well, especially all the you have. Also, you kind of have to be MKB in this against the Radiance, make sure they can still right click. Obviously, crit stick doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, that is the roll. They find a bad rider. Just hovering around. Not a good idea. Bugs have also already been used for Moonshiners. Okay, they're coming in with the Sunk Siren a little bit too early to try and steal this in. Manchi already spl also split up quite a bit. Now, the Omni Slash here in the midst of that immune taking all of that damage. Therefore, not doing nearly enough on the high ground. Maybe now Misha here with the box, a second set of box coming through, will be able to finish up the two supports, but... Well, Juggernaut is still going strong. Double kill for ILTW and... Right. Up for Bloodlust Max as well as the extra stuns, which does make sense in this game. We want to control up against Batrider, up against Weaver. Speaking of Weaver, they see him here and... Well, roar it up. All up stun available, multicast three times. Now, what time lapse here is it? They don't actually have enough damage between the two of them, and now Crystallize turns it around. Another stun comes through, Chew. Still with the back on top of him, he will die to the fire, but Omni Slash comes through, it's just for the immediate counter. Same time elsewhere on the map, Pagna on the bottom lane get brought down. This is the bush. This is the opportunity that Command has been waiting for. Even enchanting one of the Dark Sun Illusions also helpful here with the Enchantress. Uh. Where's the creep wave? Why did Crystallize die there? Okay, that was. This left is just this with Shock and Dodge J. They're chasing. They can because look at top lane. <laughs> Immune, <he> didn't even <laughs> didn't even care too much. Okay, they actually did end up turning around on both Witch Doctor as well. As the bad one, and ITW is still looking for more Dolly Jane. Drop in low, but Immune co comes back. With the song with the sound to allow for the escape. I think she can take a fight, but maybe with uh, Crystallized Sea as well as the Witch Rock combining back. He's able to finish it off, and. Uh, still with the Maledict. So many spells <laughs> just being thrown that way. Another casting between two heroes, and this time around, the Enchantress caught in the midst of that. Top of the box, he's nibbling away at the armor. Ogre Magi, next on the list, also gonna have to take a spell. Pikachu also, well. TP. Lasting way too long. Three is going down, and they still haven't taken Rex. That's once again why. And Komaji realizes too. This is why they went so hard in the bottom lane and eventually fed a couple of kills. They needed to, right? The, the time is running out. Right now, Omni Slash here, and that's another good kill. Yeah, that's a dieback on Witch Doctor. They will lose their Beast Master in return, though. And 
It's been TP forced out on Juggernaut. Other TP is forced out. Meanwhile, down in bottom two. Big flame break or something like that. Should just keep him in range and realize this deal. No running away from the Saga. Sacrifice himself. Meanwhile, up top. Well, TP is thrown out. There's a roar coming through on the Nagasaur. And that's a big kill. They can get it. But instead, Tempt is just there from Crystallize to finish up the. Uh, the one and crystallize. Well, almost finished off Pikachu. Life Drain is not doing too much for that, and but instead of crippling damage here, don't have healing water. They really have as the enchantress now. Blink Lasso here on the Juggernaut. If they bring him down, this would be really good. And the extra health from Life Drain not gonna be enough. Distract out of range for that. Mantle's off. Want to find Misha in the trees? Yeah, my pages and cheese you. That they can even go a bit more proactive here. They don't have to play chicken with the Naga Siren. And okay, Kamashi realizes too. And come in, but the roared up on the Bat Rider. Counting the initiation, he's still alive though. Not for too long. It's Pikachu. Well, pops his own PKB and the Glimmer Cape to try and get out. This was working away at him, but now he has the mental of the Juggernaut. Realizes he can't do it. And time up is away. One for one trade so far, but the Omni Slash makes it a one for two. Comanche try and claim control of this particular piece of real estate and even immune. Dragged back, slapped up, and okay, can I actually finish the TP? He chooses not to, I'm not not sure what's happening there. And they want to take another fight, he catch him, caught in the middle of that, but the bugs don't catch him. Despite the pushback there from the keep of the night. Probably if you able to communicate some pups, it's obviously not a given. It's a place I'll let you need to train. They definitely have it down. Now there it is, healing ward. Gonna have to go up against the spam, there it is. Bit of Lassa back here. No damage actually coming into the Dragonaut, but damage to the back lines here is crystallize. Let's really finish up the shoe, the back. You don't know what else to say. That's the roar on the Weaver. Can I actually make anything happen with that counter reaction? But hey, ILTW. Coming through, a lot of damage being done here. Fossy crystallized, ton of stuff, but now it's almost dies. Uh, to the Enchantress, and will still end up falling. Alright. That's a buyback, though. Meanwhile, on the back. Creative tried to get himself out of there. Unable to TP out. Thanks to Pugna being in range. Both of them have buyback. Meanwhile, up top. Look at this. Huge props, but as I said before, Moonshine is they have the tools to actually deal with this. Top lane is pushing in. You can TP up there, they can lasso people in here for some free pickoffs. In the midst of that, he has to be careful not to be brought down, but instead it's creative for Stice first. A buyback in him, but they will have to f pay not only one, but two heroes for it. And Sangrasar not cancelling anything. Alright, unfortunate. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. I still don't really care too much about that. I'm super pleased to finish it now. Two main tracks. Just fight, got two kills for one. Can uh. What else do we have? Satanic and a Juggernaut. Actually, I'm not getting too much money here sitting at the bottom of the barrel, unfortunately. Okay. That's a big kill, actually, because he popped back earlier. Let's not have it available. All the woods of travel, all you need is one lane to go their way. Then TP in for quick pickoff. Then they're taking our team fight, because they're still superior in a team fight. Unless they just run into a death or Pikachu, well, get some extra health from the Witch Doctor, so that's him down as well. The Lasso comes through, but where's the damage? And actually, fought to go in, and now Creative, he is falling. And to W working away at the racks, so trying to here. Yeah, found the angle. We're back for the Weaver, no buyback. Able to finish off the second set of racks, and they should probably go, just go straight up top, and they will do that. W, a couple of creeps here for the Satanic, and yeah, this is. Comes down to Moonshine, is able to keep the lanes out too long. Just giving up these pickoffs on the back of the. Uh, back of this global presence on the Hog, man. I can't believe I didn't recognize this earlier. This is actually what ends up winning them the game. This is still superior in team fights, right? Especially if you don't have to deal with the Weaver. That's the main source of actual damage coming out. 
something that Nagasan will never really be able to provide, which is just reliable teamfight damage. Quick damage here in late game. Look at this, the man fight, she's just right up. Winning it? Okay, okay, okay Chris Lass was back. Did a lot of damage there, I believe. Up, but yeah. Oh god. Dying that. There it is. Fire to cap. Yeah, look at this. Argosar was in that fight much, much longer. It did 3.5k damage. Weaver was there for like a couple of seconds. It did 2100 damage pretty much exclusively to the Juggernaut. This is how important this Weaver is here for this lineup. In these kind of situations where they don't have the lanes going their way. Command J being actually pretty fast pushed themselves, even with against super creeps there. Or at least ILTW, right? It's all down to the Juggernaut as well. He's as much of a linchpin for Comanche as the Weaver is uh, for the champions right now. The last comes through, even as an Axe is up to two, and now with the Axe on Weaver, it's a lot of AoE damage going down. Pikachu will fall, so is two, all of them are buyback. And they will all use it now to so continue to take the fight. Crystallize will finish off the fourth one, that's Enchantress. Well, I'm coming back and I have to try and kill him again, but Pikachu, one last shot attack, not quite enough! He's able to barely survive and Crystallize now on the hunt out. And that's the last by the command, she used every si single one of them. Brought down a Witch Doctor, who also incidentally still had it, alright. Still have to keep- That's all I can say, this is just a crazy game, okay. Bye, Curry, I'm not sure what they want to buy with that, but okay, this could be it. Pakna is dead for good. Now it's all on ILTW. It's all on him. And they can actually control him. Right, they have, uh, they have net. Don't have lasso. We predict a lot of damage from the Weaver here. If just a little bit of control is going to be enough for them to win the man fight on the back of that. Especially if you can isolate him with the sleep. Back on top of him. Mantle's off, trying to spin away. And there's a roar. Going down Nagasaren here, and a lot of AoE damage being done here with the Mjolnir. And all these procs, so uh, it's two down. Double kill for LTW. He's super, super strong, but the rest of his team, not so much. Crystallize surviving there, able to finish that one off. Still no point in untouchable for Enchantress. Bunchy used all of theirs in their last fight, so if they, <coughs> if they get a good lasso, this might just be over. Like a good double lasso. Funny getting a good death ward off or some, something or other. Pikachu on a high ground here, but the lasso popped on the Lincolns! The song to reset this a little bit, Pikachu, with the uh, with the BKB, will be able to stock off on, uh, on the Witch Doctor in the back. Oh, never mind. That was Weaver, actually. It was much more significant. But Weaver and ILTW both are down. So is Nagasan. I've no idea what's going on right now, but I guess it's Misha on the high ground and Pikachu on the low ground just sucking away. And. Right clicking away with the impetus, able to take this fight despite ILTW going down. This comes back to the last zone of landing, that's being popped on.